If I took an entire freezer's worth of leftovers from a grandma, she's got loads, turned it into a three course meal, I think it's curry, but she just put it in a different container, and served it back to her in an actual working restaurant. Oh god, that's burning, isn't it? Would she notice? Jeff has prepared a set tasting menu for you today. Well, with the help of some special guests, Nana's using real garlic, a very grateful granddaughter, I'm not just saying that, just my nan, and a bit of creativity, could I fool this Nana into giving her own food a five star review? I have a fascination with the claims that people make online. We see this a lot after a football match where a player has missed a penalty. My 15 year old son could do better than that. You'll go on Twitter and there'll be loads of examples of people saying, oh, I could have scored, I could have done that with my eyes closed. I think these claims are amazing because people know that no one is going to fact check them. It's not just related to football. There's one that I found, if I was ever in a lift with David Attenborough, I would 100% snog him. Let's test it. For years I've seen these comments and just enjoyed them from the safety of my sofa. But I saw a comment this week that I actually genuinely think I could test. It was a comment by a woman called Morgan underneath a post about food. And she wrote, genuinely think my nan makes restaurant quality home cooking. So I want to see whether her nan makes restaurant quality home cooking. To make this happen, the plan was to create an entirely fake restaurant where this nana would be taken to eat her own food. Is this a curry? But first, I would need nana's food. So I reached out to Morgan the commenter and we jumped on a call. Hello! I love the green jumper. You're literally a walking green screen at the moment. Narcissistic little child. With my banter out the way, Morgan agreed that she would let me raid her Nana's freezer while she was out. Are you in? I am in. <laughs> so a few days later, I found myself at Essex with a cooler box. Let's go steal some food from a grandmother's freezer. This would be really sinister if it wasn't for a fun, silly YouTube video. I met Morgan at Nana Aileen's flat to acquire the stock for my soon-to-open restaurant. Hello! Thanks for letting us raid Nana's freezer. Look how Nana lives, lives in a nice place, isn't she? Yeah. Hello, Gerald. Nice to meet you. You've been made aware of this of this little scheme. Okay, how do you feel? How are you feeling, Gerald? I feel fine. Okay, good. With Gerald in on the plan, it was time to see what kind of dishes I'd be working with. It's the top two. Top two. Yeah. Whoa. It's, um... She's got loads. Aileen had a fully stocked freezer, but unfortunately, she isn't the best at labelling. We just think this is just mystery meat. But luckily, Morgan had a family trick to work out what it was. Smell it. I, that's what I smell, you, and I asked my partner. That's a curry. Your job here, Morgan, is to just be pass, pass and sniff, pass and sniff, yeah, baby. Either the fingers of a baby or some carrots. Now that I had got some Prince Charles sausage fingers out of the freezer, the dinners kept on coming. <laughs> Ziploc bolognese, Tupperware bolognese, bolognese. Yeah. I'm gonna guess it's bolognese. My pillaging continued until I had a veritable smorgasbord of options. She makes sausage rolls? Yeah. Are they good? Berries. I found this as well, but I'm not sure whether that's allowed. And I had fully cleaned Nana out. It's not a bad selection. I reckon this is enough to feed a restaurant. Right, we will take this and see what we can do with it. With Morgan and Gerald's help, I had enough home-cooked meals to feed a whole restaurant, which was convenient, as that's exactly what I would be doing. You didn't see me, remember? Sorry, who are you? Natural, <laughs> it's an absolute natural. Right, big success. Now that I've got Nana's meatballs, it's time to look after my meatballs with Manscaped. But who are Manscaped and what, more specifically, is this? Manscaped are the leaders in the below the belt grooming. They've decided to tackle the follicles upstairs with this bad boy. This is the Beard Hedger, their all new cordless trimmer. I'm in this pram, which is a prop from a previous video because it was very expensive and I wanted to make sure I got my money's worth. You always want to be making a good first impression when you meet people, so you want to make sure that your beard is in tip-top shape. And that's where the Beard Hedger comes in. It has a rotary wheel which gives you 20 different beard lengths. So if you want to keep your beard nice and bushy, you can, but if you want a closer shave, that's also possible without the clutter of all sorts of different attachments that goes on top. All you need is the rotary wheel. You can use the code FOSH, which is also my name, for 20% off and free shipping on this bad boy. 
So thank you to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. You're not only helping my beard game, but you're also helping me set up a fake restaurant for Nana. And I think it's time to go there now. The following day, I arrived at our restaurant for this little experiment, Jones and Son in Dalston. One of the East End's most popular restaurants and the shooting location for the hit Netflix movie, Boiling Point. I'd be running the restaurant for a whole day, serving people only with Nana's cooking. So I could put Morgan's online bragging to the test. She genuinely could have her own restaurant. Yeah. And so to do that, I'd need some help. Service, please. My head chefs in the kitchen would be Ben and Kush from Sorted Food. You guys know what you're doing. I don't. <laughs> but who's in charge? <laughs> this guy. That's um, a bigger cool It's full of bolognese bolognese and a bit more bolognese. We had less than two hours for Morgan and Nana Aileen who would be arriving. Oh, the queen of Tupperware. And our priority was to turn her leftovers into dishes worthy of a Michelin star. I think it's curry, but she just put it in a different container. So I donned my chef's hat and got to work in the kitchen. We'd have to work fast. I'm handling Nana's barasa. Under Kush and Ben's instruction, we slowly turned Nana's frozen meals into art. It smells really nice. It turned the berries that we found in her freezer into coolie. And after a tough two hours, we had our three dishes prepared and ready to replicate. Starter, main, and dessert from Nana's freezer. I think she's going to enjoy that. Of course she is, she cooked it. Yeah, she better. With Nana Aileen's arrival imminent, it was time for final prep. We'd filled the restaurant with friends of the channel and carefully placed some hidden cameras and microphones to capture Nana's reaction. Just checking the smell. And then right on schedule, it was showtime. Hello there. We've got a booking for two party. What is your name? Morgan. Morgan. Hello, ma'am. How are you? Brought your sister with you. <laughs> Suitably charmed, I led Nana to her table. Right here, please. What's your name, Adam? Aileen. Aileen. Lovely to meet you, Aileen. Aileen. I will be your server. Chef has prepared a set tasting menu for you today. Essentially, sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Isn't he lovely? Yeah. Time to serve Nana her restaurant-worthy dish number one. What's the name of the um of the dish again? Tandoor smoked chicken tikka pie. Made from Nana's chicken tikka masala and frozen puff pastry. Ding the bell. Where we go. To start with, madam, we have a tandoor smoked chicken tikka pie with yogurt puree, tamarind, and micro herbs. Oh, thank you. Please enjoy. Absolutely lovely. Great, we'll stick it, get stuck in. Our chefs are some of the finest in the world. But then Nana threw me a curveball that I wasn't quite prepped for. Would you like a treat? I'll have a spritzer. White wine spritzer. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. We need someone to go out and get some white wine. <laughs> While I quickly sorted out drinks for the table, Nana started on her first course. Oh, this is lovely. Delicious. And it seemed we were off to a cracking start. Mm, really, really nice. I'm going to do this. With the entire restaurant enjoying the dish, I thought I'd check in on our VIP table. How's the food? It's lovely. Do you know this is a curry? Yes, it's a very special curry, made by a very special chef. I've never had it like this before. You've never tasted anything like this before. Yeah. We'll be back in two seconds with your white wine sprint, sir. No problem at all. One dish down, it seems that Nana was none the wiser that she was eating her own food. After pouring a couple of glasses of the finest wine available from the nearest corner shop, it was time for the main course. Slow-cooked ragu of shorthorn beef with crispy potato dumplings or Nana's bolognese with some gnocchi. For your main, here we go. Descends loveliness. It's a fire from a restaurant. You're going to come and work, really. Absolutely. You need to work at your restaurant. Yeah, I haven't got one yet. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> Course two delivered, would Nana realise she was eating her own famous bolognese? I love this food. It really, really appeals to me, this. Another big hit. It's mm. really, really nice. Mm. It's actually too nice to me. And the rest of the restaurant was lapping it up as much as Nana. How are we finding it over here, ladies? Lovely. I can't tell you how nice it is. Oh, that's good to know. Some empty plates, some clean plates going down. No, I'm getting, I'm getting rather... No, madam, you are looking as fine as you did in the 1970s, I'm sure. <laughs> it's very hearty. A home, home-cooked meal kind of, kind of style. Okay, we've got one more course coming up. It's a lovely dessert. No, a what? dessert. A dessert. Oh, okay. <laughs> so cute. 
Unfortunately, Nana wouldn't be getting me for dessert. Instead, she would have to make do with macerated summer berries with raw milk gelato custard, aka frozen berries and an upturned Cornetto from her freezer. This, this is bloody great. Oh, here we go. And to finish, we have some macerated summer berries with raw milk gelato custard, meringue drops and garden meat. Wow, well, I'm you. definitely coming back Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Oh, let's take a photograph. Yeah. She's so sweet. She's like, let's take a photograph. My phone is so slow. But with the dessert options rather lacking in Nana Aileen's freezer, our third course creation was perhaps the riskiest to serve them all. Oh, what? It's a cone. Was she about to recognise her strawberry cornettos and meringue? Who no, are they? Mm. No, not a chance. Nana Aileen had eaten an entire three-course meal of her own food, and she'd enjoyed herself to boot. Fantastic. Very, very, very nice. But there was still one more surprise in store for Nana. Right. Time to let Nana know who the chef is. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention for two minutes, please? Thank you very much for coming down to the promotional day. Um, of course, it goes without saying, I think we need to uh, give a massive round of applause to our chef. So everyone, round of applause for the chef. <laughs> Aileen, you might be thinking why everyone is turning around and looking at you right now. Because the chef for our courses this afternoon was you. <laughs> we stood the afternoon with the help of Morgan and Gerald. We went into your lovely flat in, a, in Chigwell. And we, we raided your freezer. And no. everything that you've eaten this afternoon has been your food. From your chicken tikka that you froze, your bolognese that you froze, the frozen berries and everything. No that was the whole point. <laughs> <laughs> so all of the food that you ate today was your food. And it was very nice. It was? <laughs> what you've done with it, you've made it amazing. I never felt putting pastry with it as well. <laughs> the pastry was in your freezer. <laughs> and to really round off Nana's day, I got her some gifts, including a very special surprise. Sorry for taking all of your frozen meal. We got £100 from Marks and Spencer's so you could replenish all of the oh. food. But also, we want, to, we want to treat you to a dining experience at the Ritz to say thank you for all of the work that you do with your family, all of your friends. And we've also got a lovely, lovely cookbook as well of all of the recipes that you make, which is going to be Nana's cookbook. I can't believe what you've done. Fair play, Morgan. You were right about Nana Aileen's cooking. Thank you so much. You're more than welcome. I tell you what, Gerald was in on the whole thing. I saw General, Gerald I yesterday. Love her. <laughs> you just wait. But for anyone watching who's thinking about bragging online, watch out because I might be coming for you next.